Hey guys, it's John Schieber here with TechCrunch, uh, reporting live from the DJI launch event for their Inspire 2. Uh, we're going to be talking to the folks behind The Circle, DJI's movie that they produced, uh, using just the drone. Uh, should be really exciting, looking forward to it. Hope you all have a good time watching. I'm going to have a good time reporting. See ya. Well, I feel like, for me, I always feel like I'm always looking for some things to change the way I shoot, or simpler ways to shoot, you know. Well, I think there's a lot of opportunity to have, just be able to shoot in more locations you want to shoot, to be able to shoot over water, and to do a lot of things that traditionally used to do with helicopters, but even the helicopter has, has limitations. There's helicopter wash, there's like, you can't get that close to people, you know, and these drones now you can get a lot closer to people. And my big limitation was, are these cameras going to be good enough? And I feel, for my movie, they were totally fine. I was amazed by the intimacy that you could get with the camera on the close-up shots in the film. So I oh. saw a rough cut of the oh, yeah. and just the, 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 the sort of detail that you were able to get with the camera. No, it was great. And you're normally you're kind of scared of that kind of detail because you can't trust focus. So I'm going to say, oh, if I can't trust focus, you know, and I can't see what I'm doing, I'm going to do this at a really huge depth of field, which to me feels video-y, it feels non-intimate. It doesn't give you a sense of screen focus. So I think that's what's kind of, I think, what's happening with the Inspire 2. I think that's a new thing. Hey, y'all. It's John Schieber here again. Here we are with the DJI Inspire 2 in the flesh. Camera's pretty heavy. It's a pretty heavy piece of equipment. Given all of the specs, it's um, an amazing machine for a professional shooter. I think uh, a lot of flexibility for indie producers who want to do a lot with a little. It's probably the most bang for your buck you can get for $6,200. And um, looking forward to seeing what folks do with it. Uh, it's been a great day here at Warner Brothers Studios on the lot. And uh, this is John Schieber for TechCrunch saying thanks for watching.